Also this evening, man, a teenage girl is severely beaten. And what do you hear how it happens? It was an attack that happened in her own home. An intruder was hiding in her closet. The investigation takes us to the town of Elk City in far western Oklahoma. New at 6, the teen's family talks with us about her injuries as police search for a suspect who's still on the run right now. Your Channel 4 Shelly Mills joins us live from the newsroom. Shelly? Well, this young girl was beaten last night in her bedroom. While she's doing better than first expected, her dad says she's pretty battered and bruised. A warning before we move on, some of the images we're about to show could be considered graphic to some of our viewers. You know, it happened so fast, and I was thinking, man, am I going to wake up and this is all going to be a dream? And uh, I just never woke up. It's a nightmare that started Tuesday night in Elk City just after Brian Legrand put all four of his kids to bed. So I closed their, all the bedroom doors, got back in the living room, and I heard this noise, and it wasn't anything you know, out of the ordinary. Moments later, Brian and his wife heard a scream coming from 17 year old Michaela's room. She said she'd seen somebody, but she didn't think anything about it. And she laid her head down and then popped right back up, and he was on top of her, and he was hitting her. As Brian and his wife ran to her room, a man ran out. He crossed through another room and out the back door before jumping the fence. As for Michaela, my daughter comes out of the room uh, unrecognizable, just covered in blood. Her nose and right eye socket broken, her head gashed open. Police were able to find the suspect's hat and a few footprints, but they do not know why Michaela was targeted. No motive has been determined. There's been uh, no problems, no problems with the family. There's been no history. Nothing was taken from the home. It appears the man went straight to Michaela's room. Now, police and her family are hoping someone knows who the attacker is. He's out there somewhere, and someone knows who he is. It's going to be a slow process to getting comfortable, you know. And I'm sure there's not going to be any peace until. You know, we know that the guy is caught. Police described the suspect as a white man in his early 20s with a scruffy, unshaven face. He had a short haircut, was wearing a white men's tank top undershirt with jeans. They do believe he likely had blood on him following this attack. Linda. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Michaela's dad says they did find an open window with the screen pulled off in another room, and they think that's how the intruder got in.